In this video, we're going to discuss different variable data types. When you create a variable, you're asked to choose a data type from the drop-down menu. The first data type is nominal or ordinal. Nominal or ordinal variables are used to hold a limited number of short strings which describe specific properties of a case. An example of a nominal variable would be male or female. An ordinal variable is similar, though it has a ranking. An example of an ordinal variable would be novice, intermediate, or expert. When you choose a nominal or ordinal variable data type, you're asked to list the values. To do this, select the Edit button. List your values one per line, for example, male or female. When you're finished, press OK. The next data type is numeric. When you select numeric, you're asked to choose between integer or floating point, which is a decimal number. If you choose floating point, you're asked to choose the number of decimals. You can do this by typing in or using the arrow buttons on the side of the field. This does not affect the internal precision of the variable, it's just the display. Next, we have a date variable. It holds a month, a day, and a year. Its format is based on the Windows date setting. There is also a date and time data type. Its format is similar to the date data type with the addition of the time. The Boolean data type stores a value of true or false. A short string data type can store a maximum of 254 alphanumeric characters. You're asked to specify the lengths of the string. To do this, you can type it directly in the field or use the up or down arrows on the side. The document variable data type is used to store documents that will be manually coded. The last data type on the list is the image data type. It's used to store graphics that will be manually coded. Once created, variable data types can be transformed. To do so, select the variable in question, in this case we'll transform grade, right-click your mouse, and scroll down to transform. All of the transformations will be listed. Integer to real, which is a floating point or a decimal number, integer to string, or integer to nominal or ordinal. We're going to choose integer to real. At this point, we're given two options. We can overwrite the existing variable, or we can keep the existing variable and store the information into a new variable of which we choose the name. We'll choose the second option. And the name we'll choose is years. Once you're done typing in the name, select OK. We can see that a new variable has been created. It's of a floating point data type. Our original variable has been kept. 